what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Christian rapper Lecrae is taking a lashing on social media for allowing pro-slavery pastor Louis Giglio to spin slavery into a white blessing. How did this happen? Oh, man. When I say it was horrible, fam, it was horrible. I mean, the pastor cooked him good. Let me say this right off the bat, baby. Let me say it, let me say it, let me say it. Lecrae, you gotta have a spine made of more than jello, especially in these trying times. We need real soldiers, real men, men of valor, if you will to stand up against this racist hierarchy. There is no way we can win. There is no way our babies are going to make it with weak men. It's not going to happen. The women cannot do it by themselves. Black women are strong, but they cannot do it by themselves. Man, man, man. Lecrae recently sat down with Pastor Louis Giglio and Chick-fil-A CEO Dan Cathy. They talked about injustice, racism, and the Jesus they love so much. Things were going just well until around the 2130 mark. And this is when the pastor eviscerated Lecrae. He started talking about white privilege and how he perceived slavery in regards to it. We understand the curse that was slavery. White people do. And we say that it was bad, but we miss the blessing of slavery. Family, it gets way worse than that. He continued that it built up the framework for the world that white people live in and lived in. What did Lecrae say? Did Lecrae get up and bust him in his mouth? No. Lecrae said, yes. He may as well have said, yes, the boss. But he nodding the whole time, yes. He continued, a lot of people call this white privilege and say those two words, it's just like a fuse goes off for a lot of white people because they don't want somebody telling them to check their privilege. But there's more. I know both of you and I have struggled in these days with, hey, if the phrase is the trip up, let's get over the phrase and get down to the heart. Let's get down to what then do you want to call it? And I think a great thing for me is to call it white blessing. What did Lecrae do? Did Lecrae kick him in his natural ass? No. He chuckled. Man, man, man. Dude said, that I'm living in the blessing of the curse that happened generationally that allowed me to grow up in Atlanta. White blessing. He called slavery. No, a curse. Well, I'm going to take this curse and make it a white blessing. Well, if nothing else, will acknowledge that he acknowledged that white folks are living pretty good due to the hard work, free labor, the contributions of black people. 
Sounds like reparation talk to me. Absolutely amazing, fam. This same book of religious facts that they read from is the same book that talks about being your brother's keeper. Talks about treating people godlike. Looking at the next man as your brother, the next woman as your sister. These people who push this religious ideology, they do it where it benefits them. They pick and choose what part of the Bible they want to adhere to. And the rest of it, they throw away. How they perceive certain words, you know, that whole Bible, matter of fact, the whole Bible, the entire Bible can be interpreted in at least two ways. Every phrase that you read can be interpreted in more than one way. So what they do is interpret it in the way that benefits them. And what we often do is interpreted in a way that does not benefit us. The docile, weak, forgiving, super loving way. But that's only when we're dealing with them, not us. See, because if we could apply that same type of mentality when dealing with our own, there'd be nothing they could do. They couldn't stop us. Talk about a wolf in sheep clothing. And he handled Lecrae. I mean, Lecrae. He made you look bad, bro. You made Houston look bad. To be a 40-year-old man. Oh, dude. You need to shut up for life. Don't talk to nobody else. Don't give nobody else no advice. Period. You can't stand up for yourself. You damn sure can't advise someone else to stand up for themselves. You had a perfect opportunity to check that plantation owner and you blew it, shaking your head. You may as well have said, yes, a boss. We sick, boss. Come on, man. That ain't how you do it. No way possible would I have allowed something like that to happen to me. I would have represented not myself, not just for myself, but I would have represented the ancestors. That was an opportunity. He was totally disrespecting not only our personal present struggle, he disrespected the struggles of our ancestors. Ain't no way I would have let that slide. I'm going to end this in the pastor's words. He told Lecrae this. The difficulty that a white person has is they may educate themselves, they can read, they can try to understand, but none of us have actually lived a day being black in America. Perhaps you can say the same thing for Lecrae. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.